How's it going, everybody? Hey, guys. Coffee with Keith. And Katie on Public House Media. And we are thrilled to be coming at you, as we always do, from our apartment on Chicago's north side, on our couch. However, we're not doing it live anymore. We are not. We're not live. This is a produced show now. Very, very... Very fancy. Yes. We're going to start drinking our coffee with our pinkies out mm -hmm. now. Uh... For those of you that have never watched before, thank you for joining us for the first time. For those of you that have always watched us, like David, always commenting. David and Greg from the Greg and Dave Show on Public House Media. Hey. First official plug. Everyone, keep checking out all the other great shows on Public House Media as well. But we've decided to go with a produced show. We no longer have that interaction with everyone. However, you can still comment, still interact with us below on the comment section and we will certainly get back to you. Only Why? positive <laughs> comments. Only positive. We don't respond to negative. Get ready for a flood of negative comments to come You can way. handle that. I'll then. respond to it. I'll, He'll I'll, negative. Yeah, I'll deal with the negative stuff. Katie will deal with the positive stuff. But for those of you, again, that are just might be joining us, why coffee with Keith and Katie? Why? Um, well, we enjoy having coffee together. We love coffee. It's been the foundation of our relationship since the beginning. When we were broke college students, that's what we, what we could afford. People gave us gift cards to Starbucks and that's where we could go on our dates. And now that we're broke adults living in the city, we still live on Starbucks gift cards. We met to get, we, we met in, a, in theater class in college. First unofficial date was in a coffee shop I told Katie that I needed help studying for a test. Said, hey, how about we meet in the coffee shop on campus? So she said, great. So before we were even together, our first face-to-face -face interaction was over coffee. Yep. So we have to keep the tradition alive. We do. <laughs> we have our best conversations over coffee. Uh, and we thought we'd share them with you. Yeah, so hope you enjoy sharing your coffee with us as much as, 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 much as we enjoy sharing our coffee with you. Yeah. So, uh, the first show that we're doing is uh, kind of shares our background, where we're from. Mm -hmm. uh, we're both from Wisconsin. Yep. We both went to a school called Carroll University, which in is Waukesha, in Wisconsin. Waukesha, Wisconsin. Mm -hmm. So, up until we moved to Chicago, we spent our entire lives in Wisconsin. Grew up in Wisconsin, went to school in Wisconsin, yep. got married in Wisconsin. Yep. So, Good. what better way for you guys to get to know us a little better than share a Wisconsin experience with us. Yeah. Katie, where are you from? I'm from Pittsville, Wisconsin, which is the exact center of the state, so geographical. If so if you're looking at Wisconsin, it's right here. It's right there. Here. It's here. <laughs> it's not the middle of your hand. That's not... Madison. Right here. <laughs> this is Madison. This is, <laughs> this, is this, this, this is where I'm from. This is like, all this is Lake Michigan right here. <laughs> So Katie's from Pittsville, Wisconsin. I'm from Pittsville, Wisconsin. If you don't know where Pittsville is, what's it, what is it closest to? Uh, Marshfield is the biggie, but probably Stevens, Stevens Point. Stevens Point, probably what or people would know most. 45 minutes from Stevens Point. But the Marshfield Clinic, Don't Just Live, Shine, first unofficial sponsor. Yeah. They're, they didn't pay for that one. We're going to have to go back and get it from them later. We're going to have to. <laughs> but... Stevens Point, probably. A Stevens lot of people Point. have heard of UW Stevens Point. Yeah. So, what's Pittsville like? Before we get before we get a snapshot of it, tell us a little bit about Pittsville. It's tiny. It is a it's a rural community. It's not really a city. Like by no. most people's standards, it's not a city. Anyway, um, it has about just under nine hundred people, I think, residing in it. There were sixty three people in my graduating class, uh, I think 250 in the entire high school. Wow. Um, so it's, it's very, very small, very small community, uh, a lot of farms, just a, a great rural area away mm. from traffic and sirens. You can see the stars at night. Polar opposite of Chicago. Absolutely. It, it's, it's amazing. You mentioned the stars at night. It's amazing. She lives in the middle of nowhere, in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. Pittsville is located in the middle of nowhere, and her yeah. house is located in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. It, within Pittsville. Yeah. So, <laughs> uh, 
Um, but yeah, the, the stars at night, I mean, definitely great. Stars at night, big and bright. Deep in the heart of Texas. <laughs> We um, sing and dance, too. We sing and dance, yeah. Uh, this, is a, this is a Purdue show, but uh, you're definitely not losing a little bit of the live atmosphere as we always no. had. We're not going to no. edit this out. No. Uh, because That's not if us. we edited this, you wouldn't we wouldn't it. be us. No. Right. So, hey. That's, uh, that's who we are as a couple. We're probably very annoying for you guys. Oh, but, well. Hey, You're the one keep watching watch because this. we have a lot more cool stuff to come. We do. <laughs> I'm from a town called Kakana, Wisconsin. So if you're looking at Wisconsin, this is Lake Michigan. <laughs> this is Pittsville. This is Madison. This is Kakana about right, about right there. Right there. We're about 20 miles south of Green Bay. Okay. Everybody's... Has heard of Green Bay, I'm sure. The Green yes. Bay Packers. Mm -hmm. Go Pack, go. Yay! Big Packer fans. Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers. Brett Favre. <laughs> um, town of about 15,000. We would say Kakana is a small town in Wisconsin. He would say. Kakana's a small town. Katie's uh, village of Pittsville <laughs> is a small village. <laughs> it's a city. To say, Kakana is a small town, uh, mm -hmm. one high school. Everybody in Kakana usually goes to Kakana High School. Uh, one, one large, high school one well. large uh, middle school. There, there are about two middle schools in it. You probably went to Riverview Middle School or St. Mary's, I think, if you, uh, if you went the Catholic route. Uh, Katie shared how many students she had in her class. We had about the size of Katie's high school in our class. So we had 250 to 300 kids in my class, uh, probably about 1,000 to 1,200 students in Kakana High School. For a lot of high schools in the Chicago area, that's very small. Mm -hmm. So uh, I came from a small town of Kakana. Katie came from the small town of Pittsville. We both lived in Pittsville together for a while before we moved to Chicago. So we moved from a town of 900 people to Three million. Three million in the whole Chicago metropolitan area. And so it was a surprise. That is a, that's something else. So uh, obviously where we grew up, the experiences that we had were much different than what we have now. We've been in Chicago for seven years now, um, but it's always great to go back to Wisconsin, go back to Pittsville, go back to my area to check out some of the things that we experienced growing up. So we thought that would be a great idea in order for you guys to get to know us the best to see how we grew up, how we spent a little bit of our childhood. Yeah. So. The fun things to do in and around our hometowns. You know, burn things at a fire. Burn, burn things. Go, go to Lambeau Field. Go to the local Walmart. Um, the Walmart. The, the Walmart. Go to the Walmart. We don't have southern accents. So, <laughs> so that is coming up in the next segment of this show. Do not go away. We'll be right back for more coffee with Keith and Katie with some views from the heartland of Wisconsin. joining you on the road again. We are on, on the way the to oh, there goes Sam. Wisconsin. Hi. The train is right next to the road here. The train is going faster than we are. That's the point. <laughs> <laughs> we are on our way to Wisconsin. We are going to spend some time at both uh, parents' places. We're going to Katie's parents first. And then we will end the week in Wisconsin in my hometown with my parents. So, uh, having a nice little vacay in, in mid August should be very pleasant. We have Mr. Fuzzy Face with us in the back. Say hello, Mr. Fuzzy Face. I said I didn't want to be on camera. So, when you've been away from home for a while, this is what you come home to. You have several downed trees. Dad cut down an entire tree over there. 
several downed trees and large piles of firewood just waiting for Keith. Keith, did we check the fire danger today before we start building the fires? No, we didn't. Okay, do we need to check the fire danger today? No, it's all, it's, we're already past that. We're past that. We are right next to a pond. We have a pond right here. There's a hose very close by. It smells good. It does smell good. It smells like summer. Well, that's all it is. That's all it is. Huh? When you have a bunch of when you have a bunch of dry wood and some dried leaves and a little bit of hay there, you really don't need much of a technique. All you got to do is just throw a bunch of stuff into a ring and light a match. Just all natural resource. All natural. Yeah. We're close enough to see the her muscles you, you, outlined. You can see the muscles and you can see the bugs that are on her face there. Yeah. You're pretty, aren't you? I'm very yeah, pretty. You're very pretty. You sniffing? Yeah? Now deer here are really common, obviously. We're in the middle of the woods and in central Wisconsin, but it's still cool when you get up close and get to hang out with one of these guys. I didn't want to go too fast and spook her. Mm -hmm. Hey! She's got flies all oh, over her face. Oh, she's got bugs all over her face. Yeah. Oh. I think this is close enough for now. You think so? Yeah. We don't want to bother you too much, little dear. Yeah, you gonna head out? See you later. Thanks for stopping. We have another wild animal right here. We do. What's over here? <gasps> oh my goodness. The terrifying s'moresy. <laughs> oh wow. She attacked me good. We got s'mores in when she was just a little kitten. Adopting animals in Wisconsin is much different from in the city. Uh, there was... You just take one. You just take one. There was an ad in the paper that said, free kittens. So we went to a nearby farm. And we said, we'll take that one. Yep, pretty much. And they said, okay, go ahead. Calm down. She is an outside cat. She killed a full-size blue jay. It was terrifying. She came up to the she came up to the back porch there. We were all eating a, lunch with a blue jay hanging from her mouth. She had a big huge freaking blue jay had it by the neck. <sighs> Didn't you? It was terrifying. You're a wild hunter. You Thank straight you. up murdered another animal. This is how I spent my summer. Trees. You're pretty high up there. I should probably get down. I probably shouldn't go any farther, but... No, that, that ain't gonna hold you much more. It's a pretty strong tree. It, it looks uh... I might be able to walk all the way down. Uh, I think it'll break before you get all the way down. Yeah. Don't trust it. How's it going everyone? Hey guys. We are in front of Lambeau Field here. Uh, this is the ending of our Wisconsin trip. We showed you some earlier footage from in the from early in the week. We were in Pittsville. We were doing some cool things uh, at Katie's parents' place. And uh, now we, of course, we had to uh, experience one of the best places there is, at least where I grew up. And that is right uh, near Lambeau Field. So. Whenever we're here, we have to go and, and check it out. And uh, we just wanted to uh, catch you guys from here quick just so you guys could experience this with us. Dad, we're at Lambeau Field. Tell us something about it. Well, the first time I came to Lambeau Field was for the Bear game in 1963. Uh, I love the place. Been coming here to games ever since. And uh, it's always a 
big place just to come and come and see one more time. Mom, what's the best game at Lambeau Field you've ever been to? The, the best game the I most ever, memorable. The most memorable was the game uh, in 1983 when the Packers beat Washington 48 to 47. It was the highest scoring Monday night football game ever. Welcome back everyone hey to guys. Coffee with Keith and Katie. And uh, we hope you enjoyed our previous segment where we shared a little bit of uh, Wisconsin with you. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, but we're back on our third and final segment of this show. And it's usually everyone's favorite part of the show, which is called NFL or NBA. Yes. Or. Or, that's the game that Keith plays with me and then I get to play Stump Keith. Or the name game. It's trivia. It's sports trivia. I'm a big sports person. Obviously, as you saw, we were at Lambeau Field. As Katie said, where I grew up, there are really not a lot of big things to see. So sometimes, as true small town Wisconsin, you just go to see Lambeau Field sometimes. Uh, but I grew up a big sports fan. Katie has since become uh, quite a bit of a sports fan I've herself. I've always been a Packers fan. Always been a Packers always. fan. Always. Uh, upon getting involved with you, I became more involved in sports, and now I work for the Cubs, so I kind of have to be... Have to know Have them. to be knowledgeable. So Katie, surprisingly for me, she actually caught on with a lot of the sports rather quickly. However, one thing that she does not know and has never known are the names of the players on the teams in the leagues. She can't do it. No. She might be able to tell you how the Packers did on Sunday, and she usually does pretty well with Packer player names. However, the starting well, they have an entirely new roster. The starting quarter, the starting quarterback for the other team, no way. You know and who did who did Ha Ha Clinton Dix pick off in the fourth quarter to win the game? She doesn't know. I don't care. Who scored the touchdown for the other team to take the lead? She doesn't know. Who do the Packers have next week? She doesn't know. I'll worry about that when we get there. So it's incredibly entertaining for me and for other sports fans in the NFL and the NBA. We stick usually with NFL or NBA, and I give KD the name of a usually well-known NFL player or well-known NBA player, and she has to tell us whether or not they played in the NFL or the NBA. And I use my own special kind of logic to get there. It's incredible. It's a, it's a logic that you can just not argue with nope. because nope. there's no logic nope. to it whatsoever. So <laughs> how can you argue, how can you have a logical argument about something that is not logical at all? Let's show them. You can't. Let's show them an example of my logical thinking. All right. Let's Katie. Do it. Yes. Number one. Yep. Player number one. I have, a, I have them written down here. So I didn't forget him. I'm not looking. <laughs> Tyrod Taylor. Tyrod what? Tyrod Taylor. Is Tyrod one name? Tyrod is one name. Now it's been, now apparently it's pronounced Tyrod. His real name is Tyrod, but so many people have called him Tyrod through the course of his life and in the media that he's just gone with it. It's like, uh... It's like um, Parks and Rec, where they just call Jerry, Jerry, Jerry Gary, or because, because somebody just called him the wrong name one time, so he just decided to go with it. NFL or NBA for Tyrod Taylor. I wanted to say MLB because of A-Rod, so then he would be related to Tyrod, but it's NFL or NBA, so it's probably not MLB. I am going to say NFL. It's just a football name. Tyrod, Tyrod, very strong. NFL. NFL is correct. Ooh, see? Tyrod Taylor, he is going to be the starting quarterback for the Cleveland Browns, although Baker Mayfield. Wait, wait. Baker Mayfield will probably start the season on the bench, and he will probably take over for Tyrod Taylor after a couple games when the season starts because the Browns are going to do probably not so great and they are going to ease Baker Mayfield into the starting job. So, 
Oh, nothing when, happened to Baker No, Mayfield. when you're excited to see Baker Mayfield play week one, he might not. Okay, the one name I know and he won't play. There you go. <laughs> so, one for one. Yay! Pretty good. Number two, Gordon Hayward. Gordon Hayward. Gordon, Gordon Hayward. Hayward. Hayward is a basketball name. I can't think of who else has it. Someone else is named Hayward in the NBA. Dwight so. Howard, maybe you're thinking of? Nope, nope, nope. It's a Hayward. It's a Hayward. You might be thinking of Gordon Hayward. I don't think that's it, though. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say NBA. You would be correct. Oh! Gordon Hayward is an outstanding NBA player. He plays for the Boston Celtics. He was injured all last season. He got injured within the first nine minutes of the first game last That's year. Rough. And uh, it, was, it was heartbreaking. You didn't even have to be a Boston Celtics fan or Gordon Hayward fan, but you see the injury. It was a gruesome injury, mm -hmm. and you just had to feel bad for the guy uh, because he was going to have an outstanding season. But he's going to come back this year, and he's going to be great again. But anyways, Gordon Hayward. Yay! NBA, two, two for two. Two, two for two for Katie. Yeah. Third and final name. Do it. Tony Parker. Tony Parker is NBA because he was married to Eva Longoria. Ooh. Perhaps they are still married. I don't know. That's a good one. I didn't think that you'd catch on to that one. Tony Parker is a great NBA player. He's older. He played for the Spurs his entire career, but now he... Uh, is with the Charlotte Hornets. Oh. So probably for his final season, I'm guessing. But, Katie. Three for three. Three for three. Nice job. Thank you. Showing, very exciting. Showing me up on the first produced very show. Very first show. I got three out of three. That's pretty exciting, guys. All right. It's but we're exciting. not done with our game yet. We're not. Because. Now we have to go on to Keith. For Keith, we play the name game, or Stump Keith. Uh, Keith and his whole family know where everyone in the world went to college. It's, it's amazing to for, watch them all. For athletes. We don't know where everyone went, but, but for athletes. <laughs> everyone. Um, so so I, sometimes we'll do that, right? But right? sometimes it's something different. Right. So, either way, our job is to stump Keith. Today... You're gonna tell me where these people went to college. All right, and then going, there's gonna be a bonus question at the end. Going to college route today. Going to college route. Okay. All right, Bob Long. Bob Long. <laughs> so Bob Long is an old Packer player. He was a wide out when the Packers won the Super Bowls back in the 60s. Uh, for those of you that don't know who Bob Long is. Plural. Super Bowls. Super Bowls. Yeah, yeah. One and two, maybe. Mm -hmm. um, where did he, where did Bob Long go to college? I really thought you would know this. Uh, uh, Keith has met Bob Long. I have. He used to work Packer football camps, and uh, he was one of the old Packer players that came and uh, spoke to some people. Where did Bob Long go? Was it a, is it a Wisconsin school? Nope. I have no idea. Wichita State. Wichita State, the Shockers, known for their basketball now. Oh. But okay, Bob Long, Wichita State. That's where you went. Good, all right. Keith, 0 for 1. 0 for 1, I'm Man. already winning. All right. All right, Donald Driver. Donald Driver went to Alcorn State. Yes. Boom, another Packer wide out. Jimmy Graham. Jimmy Graham, another Packer player, mm -hmm. wide receiver, oh, I, I think so. So does wide out mean wide receiver? Wide out, wide receiver. Why can't they just use the same name every time? Why? Uh... I don't know, Jimmy Graham, Big I, Ten school? No, I actually asked you this on a previous show. Did you really? Yeah. <laughs> uh... I'm sure my dad knows. I'd like to phone a friend. <laughs> Do people even recognize that? <laughs> um, um, I have uh, Jimmy Graham. He went to San Diego State. Miami. Shoot. 
Miami, Florida. Oh, Jimmy Graham. <laughs> Who did you think? Our current tight end. Yeah. I was completely thinking, I was thinking like old Packer guys. I was not thinking current Packer <laughs> players at all. Bob Long in the 60s, Donald Driver's been retired for like four or five years. I was thinking old retired Packer players. Jimmy Graham went to Miami, also yeah. played basketball at Miami. That's right. And he played for the Saints, and he played for the Seahawks, and now he plays for the Packers. I know who Jimmy Graham is, and I know where he went to college. <laughs> I don't think you do. <laughs> so Keith is one for three. One for three. One for three, but there's should a have bonus been two for, question. It should have been two for three. Hey, that's on you. That's on me. Bonus question. They all wore number 80. Yeah. Boom. Knew that one. <laughs> yeah. Really hope to get him on that one. So two for four. Two for four. Two for, one well, for well, three with you. extra credit. Yeah. Wow. Oh, yeah. Jimmy Graham. I can't. I win. I'm the champion. Katie won this week. Yes. Can't believe. Well, she would have won anyways because I didn't know where Bob Long went to college. Yep. But I would have. But I would have gotten the extra credit, so I would have been three for three with the extra credit. Who were you thinking Jimmy Graham was? You said he was a wideout. I I don't. Which I knew couldn't be right because I said, did he replace Jordy Nelson? And you said, no, Jordy Nelson is a wide receiver. Right. Jordy Nelson is a wide receiver. Jimmy Graham is a tight end. So he did not replace. He did not replace Jordy Nelson on the depth chart. However, did he replace Jordy Nelson as, hey, we need someone for Aaron Rodgers to throw to again other than Devonta Adams? Yes, he did replace Jordy Nelson that way. I wasn't even thinking current Jimmy Graham. Is there a previous Jimmy Graham? It seems Probably like a not. It just it just sound it just seemed like an old time back. Oh my goodness. I'm embarrassed. <laughs> you see, this is how you know that <laughs> we're not editing this out because there's no way I would allow this to go out to the masses. But to stay true to the show we're committed to stay to true to ourselves. Show. Hey, I'm not gonna edit this out. Even though I should. You won't, though. I won't let you. I'm embarrassed. What a great way to end our first show. <laughs> our first produced show. Our 81st show. show on Public House Media. Very exciting. So for those of you that have been watching us on, on Facebook Live on Public House Media, our uh, past schedule was every Monday and Thursday at 7.30. No longer the case. One show a week coming out every Sunday. Every Sunday morning. Every Sunday morning. So you'll have all Sunday to watch it and the entire week to watch it up until the next Sunday morning where you can get bored at church. Watch it. Get bored during halftime. Get bored at church. You're going to be like, yes, yes, Father. Yeah. We will understand. Yeah. We are here for you on Sundays. When you're watching the NFL on Fox, when you get sick of Terry Bradshaw, hey, Tune Bring back into here. us. Whatever Joe Buck's doing that day and Troy Aikman, move on. <laughs> Come over to us. Switch on over to Coffee with Keith and Katie. Uh, but hey, we're looking forward to having more great shows with you guys. We've done, an, we, you know, I was going to say we've done an incredible job so far. We wow. have. <laughs> I think we have. I've had fun. We've had an incredible time is what I wanted to say. We've yeah. had an incredible time. Uh, thus far with 80 show, eighty live shows and our 81st show, our first produced show. So hopefully you guys keep coming back. We'll be more than happy to have you, communicate with you. Again, comment in the comment section below and we'll be sure to get back to you. Everyone, this has been a pleasure doing our first produced show of Coffee with Keith. And Katie on Public House Media. Have a great week and we will see you later. Bye guys.